Okay, 30 minute game. Nice long game just to um, work through some moves. And. See how we fared. This game basically hurt my head. My brain was hurting. I think it's the most difficult game I've had since the start of this year. Might look simple, but it really did hurt my head. So they brought the knight down and we captured. They captured and we blocked the pawn. This is all pretty normal, bringing the bishop back. They developed their knights, so we bring our bishop out now, looking to x ray through to the queen. At this point, I'm thinking, am I kingside castling or not? I'm not too sure. So I bring the knight through, looking to make space. Hopefully, if I've got an option then of going queenside or kingside. And they attack our bishop, we bring the bishop back. All pretty straightforward. They attack through the center, we capture the pawn, and they capture with their knight. Um, I did think they were going to take with the pawn. I didn't think taking with the knight gave them a benefit. So I felt like I was a little bit of a tempo up. Nothing majorly, just this small tempi that we like to capture. So they grabbed and put pressure onto our king. So we're looking for the queen exchange. They do exchange, so nice and steadily. Now at this point here, the gauge bar is going absolutely crazy for us. It's saying that we're basically winning in two or three moves. I know for a fact I did not see the two or three moves. So um, I, I don't know what happened to my brain. Was it fuzzy or what? But I made this game, I believe, more difficult than what it was. Or maybe it's just the length of time I was taking off the moves. I was really trying to find the better moves. I brought the rook through here, and that's not that's showing that it's not the right move. So it's the way I play. If my king is in this position, um, just to then give my king some space so I can move my king, attack the knight so it's an aggressive king. And then make space for my rook, looking to go for the back ranker if need be with the doubled rooks. And they push their pawn, and we push our pawn up, blocking his pawn from putting a check on our king. Same blunder again, so obviously not choosing the right moves as far as the computer's concerned. But in my head, I was thinking, well, I want to stop this from, from pawn from coming down here. If he does take, then I can take, then at least then I'm on his other pawn as well with my king being an aggressive king so I didn't see it as a blunder um, I put a lot of thought into these moves um, and each move had a rationale behind it and then the bishop took and then I sat down and thought I spent all that time thinking of that move pushing the pawn up there to stop it and now they're a pawn up and the bishop is in my grill unbelievable I think I've mentioned before that you could put like um, a rank beginner against uh, or somebody who knows a little bit about chess against the grandmaster and they could spend 14 days over a move and they still probably won't come out with the best move. This was that occasion where I sat there, sat there for ages and I thought yeah I'm going to block that pawn off and the stealth bishop right in my face. So at that point I was uh, in defence mode but moved the king nice and steadily. I thought I'm going to keep the king here. Have to be mindful. Because that's saying it's a brilliant move with that little line thing there. Okay, And got to be mindful because he does have potentially this. But I'm thinking if he does do that we can take the bishop. There is a continuation where if he does get his pawn down here then he's going to get a checkmate so I was always very mindful of that position but for now it was fairly safe so they brought their rook through saying it's a bit of a, a blunder and I felt fairly happy with that move I thought just bring my rook here and that is showing out and out losing oh I bet there's a knight fork or something that I missed ooh that looks terrible but they moved their king, which I thought, okay, well, we can win the rook. So we took. So absolute terrible moves I'm making um, throughout this game. Just through pure overthinking, I think. 
and then they push the pawn down. This is where basically sitting looking at the board, we had already mentioned to ourselves that if he gets this pawn here, he's going to get a checkmate because our king can't move here because the bishop's there can't move there and it can't move back. So we thought we're going to put a check on the king first just to make them feel uncomfortable. King moves, then we push the pawn up. So it's feeling fairly good for us at this moment in time as the gauge bar is showing. So they capture, capture, and then the knight comes down putting a check on our king. So at this moment, the gauge bar is showing we're winning. Um, felt really good about it, but I thought, oh my days, it's all congested in. We have more pieces. His knight's put a check on us. Why not just take the knight off the board? Because then we've got a bishop and a knight against a bishop. So we took it off the board, showing a blunder. I didn't care at that time. I thought, well, this game is hurting my brain. I think if the, we exchange down and basically we've got a minor piece extra, we should be able to do something with this. So the bishop takes and then the knight jumps up. At this moment in time, I'm looking at their bishop. I'm thinking, well, it's looking a little bit lonely there. Is it potentially trapped? But I don't want to focus all my energies on there. He's got a poor majority on the on the king side. Probably need to try and deal with that. And then they push the pawn down, put a check on our king. So our king has to move back. Then they're attacking our knight. And I was so worried about these pawns coming down, you know, because they're linked and needed to defend somehow. So we pushed up basically to um, stop this pawn from dropping onto the knight because the bishop is wanting this pawn here. Then they push down, so they're setting up their position. So I thought, bring the bishop back now, protecting the pawn. Just taking it a, a step at a time, trying to block off all the attacks that they potentially can do. And I'm always wary of the aggressive king, so they push down their pawn, and we capture, and they capture. So now we can attack two pawns with the knight. They push onto our king again, winning a tempo. But now our king can act like a, a really stalwart pawn just blocking off this area while our knight and bishop hopefully can work some magic on this far side king starts coming across so we grab this pawn here so he's only got one pawn now on the other side and they're starting to move their king across blocking our king from moving out i wasn't really um, considering bringing my king out but only because of the fact that this pawn potentially could be moving down at some stage although i do have a pawn on the bottom but he'd be relying on this pawn here and it could be like a stepladder thing with the king and the bishop squeezing through. Didn't want any of those funky sort of situations. Brought the knight through. I'm trying to get this pawn here. I'm trying to focus on getting this pawn, really. Uh, but the knight angle was going to take too long. So we push up with the pawn now, stopping the king. Uh, didn't want the king making its way down towards here. Then getting a two-on-one on this pawn and then sheltering it this pawn all the way down with the support of his bishop and getting our bishop off the board type thing so bishop defended the pawn bishop's trying to find a way out so we're blocking it and i think at this stage the thought we we're going for a draw but i'd always said well i'm going to go here with the knight um obviously they're going to attack so we can then push the pawn here to defend the the knight so we're slowly making inroads with the pawns pushing up at least and also be mindful that this square here is key for the bishop to take this pawn off here and potentially take this here but with him having the white square bishop i think he's going to try and get his pawn down so i i, I wanted to try and keep this angle for any king bishop combinations that potentially could take place the game hurt my head okay and it, it does look simple but at the same token when you're in the game and you've got these um, options and you know that the potential the opponent is not playing um, they're not playing soft chess they're playing hardball here they're really going for it and so we pushed up now supporting the knight like we said then the bishop gets its escape but I'm thinking where is it escaping to we're safe everything's on dark squares so we will have this opportunity to attack this pawn at some stage so we bring the bishop through and attack the pawn. Now he's trying to make his way down with the pawn. That pawn is blocked at the moment. So we capture. 
and now the bishop's attacking the pawn and so we just push it up with the support of the knight and I think this was the mistake that the opponent made by bringing the king here because then obviously he has to move and we win the bishop so they resigned at this point so to me a very tricky game which I believe I made tricky for myself I overthought the moves and I didn't really I gave it the I gave it the time but my calculation was wrong and I focused and I think my tunnel vision was too much tunnel vision which gave me blind spots and it's only the smallest of details but those types of things all constantly trying to get rid of and I probably will never get rid of them but so long as at least I'm, I know I'm focused on trying and it does help improve my game a little bit so I can deliver these types of manoeuvres going forward but it's always nice that when you see the gauge bar jumping up and down like it has done in this game um, it is quite crazy and you think wow I missed that opportunity wasn't that obvious not really so <laughs> it's trying to make the obvious more obvious to myself going forward